In this video, we'll talk about database approach. You will learn about what is database approach, why database approach, importancy, and characteristics of database approach. I request you till the end. Please stay tuned on this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. Thank you. In this video, we'll talk about database approach. You will learn about what is database approach, why database approach, importance and characteristics of database approach. So why we need the database approach? Why database approach? What is the need of database approach? So let's consider in as we know that in traditional file processing, each user defines and implements files needed for specific software application as a part of programming application. Let's take an example. One user from examination department and another user from finance department. So examination department may keep files on students and their grades. Programs to print a student transcripts and to enter new grades are implemented as a part of application. Second user, the finance department may keep the track of student fees and their payments. Although both the users are interested in data about students, and each user maintains separate files and programs to manipulate these files because each requires some data not available from other users files this redundancy is defining and storing data results in wastage storage space and redundant efforts to maintain common up-to-date data. So this entire approach is called as is called as file-based approach or traditional file system, wherein wherein redundant data will be there and updation of redundant data is not possible and up-to-date data will not be there. Now let's see we have the database approach how we can overcome this particular problem in our database approach and why that's the reason we are using database approach so i will take the same example examination department and finance department both the departments will maintain a common repository as data about students data about students wherein a data database that is a data about students examination department and finance department will have the specific folders or separate databases in that wherein they will be sharing a common data source of student information such as their ids student ids student names and some personal detail that can be common and that will be common for both the departments and by using this particular database they will be generating reports as their as per their requirement so examination department will produce student grade files and transcripts based upon the data available in a database of student and finance department will issue or will generate the reports related to student fee this entire approach is called as database approach this entire approach is called as database approach wherein a common database will be there all different departments will be sharing the data from a centralized data so this approach is called as a database approach wherein the data redundancy will be minimized or to maximum extent will be reduced 
in file based system data redundancy is very high in database approach redundancy of the data is very minimum very very minimum so let's start with database approach so database approach a database is a shared collection of logical related data designed to meet information needs of the organization in a previous slide you have seen logical related data we have student database meet the organization needs it is going to meet the organization needs a database is a computer based record keeping system whose overall purpose is to record and maintain information the database is a single large repository of data which can be used simultaneously by many departments and user in a previous slide you have seen one single repository of data student database is there is being used by examination department as well as finance department simultaneously both the departments or the users are using a single large repository of data instead of disconnected files with redundant data all data items are integrated with a minimum amount of duplication so in traditional file system all the different departments were maintaining their own data because of which data redundancy arises whereas in database approach all the data items are integrated with minimum amount of duplication of their data in this way the database approach has minimized the data redundancy problem so data redundancy uh, the data is no longer owned by one department but it is shared corporate resources so whatever the data will be there in database in centralized or centralized database or repository will be no longer owned by a single department everyone will be using the common database so that the updation problem or up to date data will be there the database holds not only the organizational operational data but also description of that particular data so whatever the operation such as i have to create a student report so student report based upon the available data stored in a database i am generating student report so student report is a operational data so operational data is a student report and how i have created that particular report all the description will be available in a centralized database so database holds not only the organizational operational data but also a description of this data for this reason a database is also defined as self descripting collection of integrated record or self describing collection of integrated records the description of the data is known as data dictionary or metadata the data which is going to define another data is called as a metadata in database let's consider the example of database approach i have three departments one department is a marketing department another department is production department another department is finance department and their physical locations are different marketing department for example on a first floor or a ground floor production department is an another floor and finance department is as another floor their physical locations are different and they are maintaining their own files and records so marketing department let's consider they have two more things over there sales and advertising production department is having a inventory control finance department will be having account payable and account receivable these three departments we have in each department we have different functionalities marketing in marketing department sales and advertising in production inventory control in finance accounts payable and accounts receivable we have a one centralized database this is called as corporate database this is called as corporate database or centralized repository of database where all this marketing production and finance related data will be there how three different types of data will be there this corporate database will maintain inside this they will be a corporate database will be having a different type of database for marketing different 
database for production and different database for finance wherein it is going to store the files of marketing files production files and finance files all these files will be stored in corporate database from the corporate database finance people will be using finance file production people will be using production files marketing people will be using marketing files so this is all about database approach why we are using database approach to maintain up to date data to minimize data redundancy data redundancy to minimize data redundancy and to maintain up to date data as well as if we have any anomalies related to insertion of a new data updation of a new data or deletion of an existing data can be rectified in database approach so to make database design more straightforward databases contains are divided into two concepts to maintain design more straightforward databases contents are divided into two concepts first schema next data so what is a schema and data schema is the structure of data that indicates rules which the data must obey whereas data are the facts so schemas will tell how the data should be how the data should be stored in database what are the different parameters or the rules on the instruction data should follow if that particular data wants to come into the database so these particular schemas will be defined in terms of rules so these rules will be visible to the users who are using the database in the form of certain validation controls or certain instructions see the characteristics of a database now let's see the characteristics of database the very first characteristics of database rep is represent some experts of real world application why it is important in real world to have the database approach a database represents some features of real world application such as we have any changes in real world is reflected in a database if we have some changes in our real world application like railway reservation or ticket booking system then it will reflected in our database too example is our book my show for example if you are booking a, any ticket on a book my show you will the moment you log in to book the show you will be able to see number of seats in that particular theater and from that particular seats how many of the seats are already booked how many are reserved or how many seats are available so in this way this particular application of book my show using the database approach in this the data is updated as when it is booked by any other user if i am booking a one particular seat it will be marked as a red and it will be visible to all the other user who is using the book my show so any changes in the real world is reflected in this particular database so best example is railway reservation and booking book booking any ticket stick characteristics we have of database approaches managing information a database always take care of its information because information always helpful for whatever work we do all the operations like insert delete update search etc are carried out in a very flexible and easy way all the transaction whatever the transactions you will be having for the databases all the transactions will be recorded and this particular recorded transaction are very helpful is termed as information and very helpful to manage the data more efficiently for example i have created one report on a student okay so that particular report will be there and whoever wants to view that particular report having the same privilege of examination department can come and view that particular report so whatever the transaction you are doing it will be stored and it will be helpful for other users as well and all the transactions will be happening with very easy with with a 
without any difficulty you can carry out all the transactions such as inserting and deleting and updating or search of any data so this is all about manages information of da database approach so next is data for specific purpose this is very important a database is designed for a data for specific purpose for example a data of student management system is designed to maintain the record of student marks fees and attendance etc this data has a specific purpose of maintaining student records i have a database of students from that particular student detail database the students will be having a detailed information their name their age their gender their date of birth their uh, uh, communication address mobile number everything but as a teacher what the teacher requires teacher requires their id or the roll number their name and the which year they are studying that's it whereas in database you have a number of different other fields as well so database will be used for specific purpose i require the data related to their id student name marks like this so i will be getting the data related to that content only so database will be helpful to get the specific specific data from the existing data so from the universal set you can take out the subset of the data three characteristics of a database approach you have is multiple views of data so extended uh, characteristics of the previous one we have this multiple views of the data basically a view is a subset of the database every view contains only data of interest to a user or a group of user for example i have a student database here okay data about a student in this i have two different files related to examination department and finance department so i have to create a one table oh, the table is related to the grades so this table i am getting a grade table so i have the id of the student i have the names of the students and their grades b b plus a right so this is a subset this table is a subset of a database okay in the database i have another that is examination so this table is coming from examination department okay examination department is a part of student database so this is called as our another one i have the same like this for the finance department right finance department is maintaining a fee details of the same students so this the first one will be called as examination view and the second one will be called as second one will be called as view of finance department so as per the requirement we can view the data as per our requirement we can view the data so these views are the instance of the data they are not the data actual database okay we are just uh, taking a one replica of this existing a database and we are we want this particular view as per our requirement so we are creating a views so view is a subset of a database what is a database database is a universal set so from a universal set we are just taking a subset so if you are making any changes on a subset it won't have any impact on a database right so this is a these are the views so in coming videos i will tell you more about in detail about database management system so please stay tuned on my channel please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video thank you please subscribe to my channel like and share my video thank you